Yo. September 2019. Yo, so I'm at uh, the Meldon Reservoir. There's gonna be some quite cool scenery in a minute. Here it is behind me. Uh, so just parked the car. It did cost only two pounds for overnight, uh, but an idea really but that hill up there I think that's where I'm heading probably won't know till I get onto the reservoir but get on to and get across the reservoir and then uh, we'll see we'll see where I'm headed yeah I'm pretty sure that's straight ahead of me that's that's yes tour looks very steep yo so it's ten past one on day one and I'm somewhere up the hill. I don't know if you can hear me because it's really windy up here. It's like, you can barely stand up straight windy. Uh, so, I mean, I knew it was going to be like this. Just have to get up there and, and see. Once I get up to the top and in a little over the other side, there's got to be places that shelter from the wind. So, Push onwards and see what I can find. Yo, so the time is just after just four, even 1:30. Uh, I've made my way up the hill and then back down a hill, and now down in the valley where the river is. So yes, that is where I've just walked down. Very boggy. My, my shoes aren't too bad because I figured it'd be boggy so I'm using my uh, walking poles to sort of push in the ground ahead of me just to check uh, and yeah there were some pretty bad places that's as the valley goes down there so I'm about to get back up again so I'm heading up there up to the very bottom of Yes Tour basically so from here on the only way is up Yo. Oh. Welcome back. So um, time now is just coming up to 20 to 2. Uh, I managed to get up that, that hill in that valley. I think if uh, if I well, when I go back, I'm not gonna go that same way, I'll probably head up over that way. Hand or not. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably head up over that way try and avoid the wet ground and we can see there's a sort of stream working its way down just kind of through the ground it's not even a stream really over there uh, what a view for me I mean my lord look at that that's just that's just insane uh, so that's yes tour behind me there meep, meep, meep. that's where I'm heading I reckon I'm about halfway there at the moment which is quite depressing <laughs> that looks like one heck of a hill and it's been a pretty pretty much a killer already so uh, I stopped here on this rock to refill my water bottle had a bit of chocolate I chocolate <laughs> but uh, I needed some energy um, so 
yeah, I'm going to go up the top of Yestor anyway, because uh, you know, I've never been up there, so that'd be cool. Once I'm up there, I'll see what I can find. It's not as windy as I thought it was going to be. I probably shouldn't say that, probably doomed it, but it's always like this on dark morning when there isn't a forecast of wind, so hey-ho. Right, so let's uh, get going. Hopefully the next one of these, unless I find something on the way worth talking about, will be once I'm up the top of Yestor. And uh, I'll be eating my words about how windy it is. Yo! So I'm at the top of Yes Tour. You probably can't hear me. Because it's extremely windy up here. I have to hold on to my phone for dear life. <laughs> but just to prove I'm here, there's the holy things. somewhere that's on the sheltered side that's big enough for my tent. Then I've got to think about pitching the same tent. Right, I'll report in in a bit. Peace out. Yo, so um, it's half past two. Uh, I've just literally shot that video where I probably couldn't hear a word I was saying. It's this little area here. Now uh, that's pretty much just made to camp in. There's nothing here that says that there's any danger. I don't, I don't know what this thing is, but uh, yeah, so it's like a pitch here. Um, it's about as sheltered as I'm going to get, and then I've still got an amazing view out over there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get the pack off, get the tent up, and then I can chill out. Yo. So yeah, it's just for five. On my latest getaway to Dartmoor, I'm currently stood on the top of Yes Tour, and I'm cooking a steak. Because hey, why not? What better place to cook a steak? Uh, yeah, weather's been a bit. As, as I guess you would imagine, it would be up here a bit unpredictable. Um, as soon as you come around here, there's a lot of wind. It's kind of difficult really to see what the weather's like, but it's, it's cloudy, but. Probably see out over there. There's um, there are sunny patches. It's quite sheltered, but still wind still managing to find a way around. But it's not it's not awful. So uh, yeah, so I've got my steak. I've got some um, mushrooms over there to, to put in and cook when it gets to nearly done. But uh, yeah, I'm a bit sniffly. It's a little bit cold up here, so. To be honest, once, uh, once I've done what I've got to do outside, I'll probably dive into the tent. I mean, I'm, I'm sheltered because I'm I'm next to this building and also the, the the big sort of lump of the tour. But yeah, keep an eye on the gas bottle because there isn't much gas left in that one, so it will run out at some point. Then I'll have to chuck the other one on it. So there it is. I'm not one of these people that tends to take photos of food and put it on social media, but that's steak and mushrooms with a bit of mayo cooked on the top of Yes Tour. Weather's horrendous pretty much up here at the moment, but I've got sheep to keep me company. Oh sheep! But that's my view. Well, couldn't have timed that much better. So, yeah, I've eaten rather well, nice steak and mushrooms. Um, and <laughs> almost as soon as I finished eating, the heavens have opened. As you can probably hear. So, yeah, I've, I've dived into the tent. But it's just me up here. 
and uh, yeah, I was going to talk about the Elixir 2. Really, really pleased. The whole point of getting the uh, this this tent was so that I can come and camp in secluded places, but I'm not one of these people that can cope with you know setting up in a a tent you can just about lie in you can't even sit up in no not for me um so obviously this is a two-man tent uh to be honest even though i was carrying probably almost my weight again on top of me earlier on uh i made it here and um i didn't really mind carrying the extra weight to be honest i know it obviously takes up a lot of room in the bag the way around that excuse me is to get a bigger bag so that's what I'll look to do, um, especially as if I want to come camping during the, the sort of autumn winter months, I'm going to need my four season sleeping bag, and that's quite large. You know, this uh, this two season I got here is great, but if it gets any colder than it is now, uh, I'm going to have no joy. So I was trying to work out what I'm hearing. It might be a plane or something. So yeah, that's where we're at. Well, the rain stopped again already. <sighs> so there we are. Right. So it's time time to chill. And uh, I dare say I'll do another one of these a bit later on. Peace out. Yo. So it's about half past seven on day one of one, sort of two, if you count the day I leave. Uh, but yeah, it's about half past seven. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it'll probably start getting dark in about an hour. Because actually I'm not entirely sure at the moment, like what time. The sun sets, but we're rapidly approaching the autumn, so it's going to be going to be probably eight, half eight. Hopefully, have a decent night's sleep. Hopefully, the wind won't keep me awake too much. And then in the morning, bacon and eggs. One yes tour, and then uh, a nice walk back to the car. Yo, so um, it's uh, it's just approaching ten past eight. The sun has already set. So it's sort of roughly right on my estimation of sunset times, but I, I thought it might be a little bit later, like half eight. Uh, a bit out of touch with that at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm just um, sat joined the view for a little bit longer before I go into the tent. Amazing view. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do any more videos after this because my battery is running out. So this may be the last one. Always check the live firing times. Because you do not want to be up here when that's going on. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my tip if nothing else. Um, yeah, so tents there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the view for a little bit longer. Then, into the tent and get in the get in the sleeping bag and snug as a bug in a rug. Morning. I have to make this very quick because I've got one percent battery left. But this is the view here this morning. The wind has changed direction, so it's uh, kind of blowing at the front of the tent this side. Um, so I'm gonna do my bacon and eggs and get the tent packed away and then be on my way. So I guess I'll, this will probably be it video wise because like I say about to run out of that battery so yeah from this set get rid of that peace out yo so when I said it would be uh, that would be the last video of this particular getaway to Dartmoor but my phone for some reason has been on 1% since I got up and it's still going so whether or not there's an issue with the battery monitor or or what but I thought I'd just get one last 
shot as I walk across the top of the uh, the dam here. So, yeah, before battery actually does go and I lose this video, I'm gonna sign out. But uh, yeah, it's been a good one. So we'll say peace out.